Hi everybody who's following my mill build, uh, which is on CNC Zone if you're just watching this on YouTube. Uh, this is testing the brake on a Fanuc servo motor. So this is a Fanuc 10S, uh, very dirty, obviously used, which means it's cheap. Uh, I might have paid $100 or $200 for this. And I've never been able to test it because I've never uh, wired up a connection for the brake. So when there's zero volts applied, the shaft's locked up and you, you, know, you can't turn it. Um, so this is the brake connector here. It's a two-pin connector. Uh, as I'm looking at it here, the, the pin on the left is positive voltage, I've figured out. And I've got it running back to this DC power supply and... Uh, I'm going to show unlocking it. Not very dramatic, but that's what passes for progress at this point on this build. So, uh, according to the manual, which is for actually for a, a newer series of motors, that uh, some of the brakes, at least for Fanuc motors, take 90 volts DC or 90 volts of rectified AC without much filtering. So this is this is vastly overkill, but it'll work. And I think they're supposed to pull about uh, 350 milliamps. So this is voltage. This is amps. So it's pulling, you know, roughly 10 milliamps right now. And this thing unlocks when I hit about 30 volts. Uh, so I don't know if if uh, that's all it needs or if 90 volts is a safety factor. Um, but it, at 90 volts, it does pull about. Uh, I think it pulls about 400 milliamps, so you know that, that's pretty close to what's in the manual. Um, and then there's actually some hysteresis when it turns off. So anyway, I'm going to dial it up, and you might be able to hear it click when it unlocks. So it just clicked there, and now I can spin it. And then, so here it's drawing about 130 milliamps. Um, if I go up to 90 volts, uh, it draws 430 milliamps. And then going down, there's actually, like I said, there's hysteresis, and it doesn't relock until. I hit about four or five volts. So I can show that here. And so there it relocked. So that's it. And now I need to finish wiring up the uh, the power and encoder plugs and set up a computer and see if I can make these things move.